Hello, I'm Jan Mulvin. You're watching the Red Men TV. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. Obviously, the Euros are in full effect, but let's not forget why we're here in the first place. The Mighty Reds, Liverpool FC. It never stops. So let's have a little bit of a transfer rumor roundup because let's face it, as interesting as European football is. Really, we just want to hear about Liverpool. Don't yes, we? yes, we do. We Paul. desperately want to know. Brendan Rodgers is in the his who. Who the fuck is he going to sign? Chris, you've got our recent transfer rumours. Yeah, it looks nailed on that um, Sigurdsson might be coming to us. Uh, there has been a little bit of a twist according to the Daily Mail, and that is that he has agreed to to meet Swansea's new manager because that that was supposed to have been done six and a half million so yeah. whether he's going to explain why he's not going <laughs> back to Swansea or he wants to listen to the manager we don't know I think that was something that Brendan Rodgers actually said when he when he, he joined that he, you know he, he was going to sort of let Sigurdsson make the decision for himself basically you know and, and fair play I, but unless uh, you know if they, if they get if they get louder up as the manager and unless he promises the earth I can't see why he would Choose them over us. Well, yeah. how, how, how the mighty will have fallen if, that's, if that's the case. It's common courtesy, though, and it? it's good in this day and age that he does want to go and meet them rather than just fuck them off. So I actually like him more for doing that. Yeah, I think I want to very similar to, to, to Brendan Rodgers in that respect, isn't it? You know, uh, I like the, I like you, you like on rule men. You you think they'll fuck it over a lot, a lot less. Yeah, um, I think he's had a good season as well. Like, on loan for Swansea, he played eighteen times, didn't he? Um, scored seven and four assists. So I really do what we get. <laughs> the only thing we had last season that in it fucking hell. So I think there was something on Twitter saying uh, scored more than Carol Down and, and someone else combined for sixty eight million pound less or something like that. But yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah. But really, only fucking sissy did better as a, as a as a January signing. There, Yelovich probably did quite well. But I don't know if he, even if he scored seven. Mm. That's only really fucking good in eighteen games. Well, that's and he's still, he's still young as well. I think that as, as we said, I think as far as it goes, that looks as as, as nailed on as is likely to happen. Um, a little bit more wild speculation. One that's come out today. Um, Salman Kalu. Yeah, um, another of those players that I pointed out on Twitter. We seem to have a habit of being linked with players that we've ripped on this show. Well, he's a free signing, isn't he? Obviously, he's been in Chelsea for six years now. Uh, Neil Jones is reporting um, that because Brendan Rodgers has worked with him while a coach at Chelsea, that we're looking into him. So, Brendan obviously knows him. Obviously, thinks there's something there. We haven't made a full move for the so, He's spoken to yet. his Neil's spoken to his agent, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Who said that he'd be open over the, the possibility? Yeah, yeah, of course you are. Uh, uh, basically, what he's saying is someone can come and play me and I play football. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Get the heart racing, that doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Pure passion. Yeah. Um, I'll be gutted. I don't like Clue. We say gutted. For free. I'd probably, I'd probably sign him up to sell him on. He's not bad. You're not going to lose money on, on Salomon and Kalu if you take him on. Like, yeah, definitely. Um, I think he's fine. Again, uh, the problem is. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Is he an underrated player? Is he a money ball? Is there, is, you know, is there, is there stats to be wrung out of a free transfer from Sully? Uh, Callum Sully, yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. Basically, I think he's a good, you know, he's a good solid Premiership experience player. He's still pretty young. He's fast. He's he can play out wide. He can play up top, although not amazingly. Um, he's, he's fine. The, the problem is, is that we, uh, and we're, again, this is going to be a running theme throughout the summer. I think is that we need big names. I don't think Callum's necessarily that. Um, moving on, another. Chelsea player we've been linked with. Yeah, Daniel Sturridge. Yeah. yeah. Um, 15 million were reported to be considering putting an offer in for him. Uh, 15 million for Daniel Sturridge. I think that's good. I think that'd be good. That's good value. That's, that's good, yeah. That's, I think that's... I think that's a reasonable fee for him, given his English as well, and given, yeah. that, given how much we paid for him. Yeah, definitely. I think we, we, we'd be lucky if we got it for 15 million. I think it would be an indication of where he is in his career that he didn't quite take off for him for Chelsea last season. You know, chopping, changing managers. Di Matteo went back to the old school. I don't know if he had an injury problem or two in the season as well. I think he wants to be a centre forward, but he can also play. He plays well from the right as well, but he's left footed, which is yeah. always a bonus to have in your squad. Brilliant. And he's 22. And he's 22. And as I pointed out, we, you know, looking at Brendan Rodgers' Swansea side, people have been looking at who we could have, who you'd nab, and people are saying Scott Sinclair and Nathan Dyer. Daniel Sturridge is a rich man's Scott Sinclair. Yeah. Simple as, you know what I mean? And if you want to be, you know, it's all well and good bringing in sound players, but you want players who are 
have the ability to perform at the highest level and, and if we want to get ourselves up to there I think we've got to be looking at nicking fringe players from good sides as much as getting the best people from shit sides because yeah, yeah. at, at Liverpool it never seems to work out when we get players from the low and I mean again Charlie the chance the chance the perfect example yeah Jermaine Pennant is probably the best example of it the best player at Birmingham by a mile he was great he had all the, he was the best crosser in the league and all that when we signed him we got to Liverpool and I just think uh, mentality wise you, you, you come up you step up to Liverpool and you think you've made it rather well, you than thinking pushing on exactly like That's you know it. and I think whereas of course it, it works both ways look at the show by Phillips Thing Sean Murray Phillips went to Chelsea for all that money and he's never come close to recapturing the form. You know, he was a big player for Chelsea, twenty four million pounds or whatever. QPR, he should be the best player in that side, but he's not. You know what I mean? And you wonder whether they might be. But hopefully, with the with the age of storage and if it's if it's right and and, and it, we can pay the right fee for him, I think he'd be a cracker. Yeah. I think uh, you touched on it again. Is that you know? It's a sign of intent as well from Brendan Rodgers. If you go out and spend fifteen million on Daniel Sturridge, that's essentially the armour on the shoulder that he needs. Yeah. At this stage in his career, it's, you know, someone that says, "Look, you're my guy," type of thing. Yeah. Certainly, with the, the, the last of the, of the good rumours, um, and a, another one that, that won't go away is Gaston Ramirez. Yeah, the Uruguay international, isn't he? Um, well read. Great, great magazine, by the way. <laughs> well read, right there. Um, yeah, Bologna. Um, Reportedly a target for Manchester City, Liverpool and Juventus. That was not so well read. No, no, no. But yeah. I, do, yeah, I mean, any thoughts? Not really seen him, to be honest. So. It's that kind of thing, again, having not seen a massive amount of him, Google him, you know. Um, he's an international an international class midfielder. He's very highly regarded. Problem, of course, come from Italy, comes with its own, its own set of problems. But... What I, I said at the end of the season, the end of the season, I think it was the end of the season review, is that Liverpool are short an international class attacking midfielder basically, and if he if we can get him for a reasonable fee, that's the kind of player we need to be getting. You know, we kind of kind of like uh, signing Morales a couple of years ago. Maybe not going to play every single week, but he's someone to have in there as a creative influence in a, uh, further up the pitch than say Gerrard or Adam or yeah. if he stays, you know, that that kind of thing. But just uh, on, on the players who were at the club as well though, Maxi Rodriguez apparently has, has come out and said that he's got one year on his contract and he's not spoken to anybody. I think a lot of people are waiting to see what happens with Rodgers, aren't they? I think yeah. he changes opinions. I mean, Maxi Rodriguez as well, showed a lot more football to him. I think in January, I think it was nailed on that he was going and I think in his own head, he'd have thought, what's the fucking point? I could go back home. Be with, me, be with all my family and all that whereas if he's going to play he's still not that old he's still only early 30s he's a good footballer he's and that's what Brendan Rodgers wants and that's the, that's the key thing isn't it um, we'll talk a little bit more about the transfer rumours as we go on there is one we go. more transfer rumour there is is it what Mohamed Diame from Wigan's a free agent of course I then. completely forgotten about this one this was actually another one of the the seems to be na- nailed on by all accounts Kalu and Diame are probably the two best bosmans out there did he drop it? Yeah, but he's not coming to us. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so just, uh, I apologise. I'm just being a cunt. Yeah, no problem. It's fine. I understand. It's not a problem. You've known me too long. <sighs> well, fortunately, I have. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Carry on. The, the crack army. and player. Yeah, crack and player for a free again. If if the free transfers, the Bosmans, the army, and you're not playing stupid wages. Yeah. Then that's it. That's it. I think the uh, it was the, the best part of that rumor was that we were waiting until is it like waiting until July so he turns twenty five or twenty six so that we don't need to pay a tribunal fee for him. Bloody hell! Brilliant. Now that is fucking money ball. Major money ball. Uh, yeah, no, I'd be I'd be happy with that. I think the issue is that and the major issue and one of the glaring uh, gaps in our squad last season was no solid cover for Lucas and. Jay Spear and we discussed this. If Jay Spear wants to stay around, fine. But as a, he's not a defend, he's not a defensive. He's not a holding midfielder in the same way that Lucas Labour's and we need somebody who can do that job next season. Yeah, I mean, you get him on a free. It gives you more budget to spend in the places that you need if you want to push on as a team, attacking positions. Uh, on the subject, our shit rumor of the week, or should I say, shit worrying, horrifying, terrifying. Disgusting rumour of the week. The great thing. The, the great thing. <laughs> I'd rather have fucking Mama's you come front than Nicholas Bentner, who we've been, who we've been like, <laughs> yeah, don't know where it comes from. Um, yeah, Nicholas Bentner. Got it. No, please. No, 
not welcome at Anfield. I know you. I know he fucking scored against us for Sunderland last season. No. Bring back Neil Mellor before you go. He's for Nicholas Bentner. Yeah, Neil, Neil Mellor's retired. Uh, that says what we think of you, Nicholas Bentner. If you're watching. If you're watching. Because you, you're watching. Prick. Yeah. Yeah, in between sort of um, having an imagination, sucking up your own cock in the Danish camp, like, <laughs> because you think you're amazing. Like, um, anyway, I really don't know, really don't know where I was going with that. Uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. As I say, we'll, we'll keep you posted throughout the year. Uh, Throughout the, the postseason and pre-season, for any any more tidbits of Liverpool transfer news, uh, let us know your thoughts on those players: Link, Kalou, Sigurdsson, Sturridge, Ramirez, and Diame. Are they good enough for Liverpool? Are they the kind of players you'd like to see in a red shirt next season? Or do you think the shit? Let us know in the comments section. Uh, also, give us a give us a quick summation of how much you like Nicholas Bentner. Why not? Make us laugh. Five words. Yeah, in five. Sum up Nicholas Bentner in five words. Best one, get to mention on the show next week. There you go, boss prize that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to tune in for all our Euros coverage. We've done an exclusive subscriber show on the website, threadmantv.com. Uh, definitely boss. We've also got the top the, the covering the fantasy football as well. So if you did well in the fantasy football league and you, uh, you might get a mention on there as well. I get a mention because I'm shit. Yes, precisely. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week. Ta.